as they get the win. Let's hear from Coach Steve Nash post game. Coach, what did it take down the stretch? You know, fourth quarter, then of course going into overtime to hold this Atlanta team off. You know, we just gutted it out. It was just fine margins. Uh, made enough baskets. Made enough hustle plays. Enough rebounds. You know, just to get us over the line. So, wasn't pretty, but um, we found a way, and uh, we'll take it. With with James, he was you know much more aggressive with 20 field goal attempts. Is this something that you continue to talk to him about? Obviously, he's been in facilitator mode in these first few games with the big three together. But uh, how much in, you, were, have you guys been encouraging him to be aggressive and look for his? Yeah, I think encouraging is the word. You know, I, I don't want to force him. He he knows what he's doing. And he knows where his body's at and where you know this process of. Uh, assimilating to a new group is so we want him to be aggressive but we're we're going to give him his head and let him decide how he plays um, but we definitely love it when he's aggressive and there's some tough matchups out there um, for him and uh, he got going at, at, at an important time and uh, and we found a way to get it done somehow. Blake Andrews ESPN. Steve, I, I think this is the third game consecutively you've had the same starters and you guys haven't started the same group more than four times consecutively this season. Do you feel like you're starting to get towards a groove where this may be the core that you want to move forward with for your starters and then start to figure out that bench rotation? Yeah, it's getting there. I mean, I, I'm hesitant to say that just because tomorrow it'll be something else. You know, it'll be a COVID protocol or, uh, you know, something, something will happen and – we'll be back to mixing it up. But I think we have to stay flexible and stay ready at the same time. You know, I, I like where we're going with it. Um, you know, by no means are we set on this, but right now it, it feels pretty good. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, you guys had 23 points, uh, well, 23 fast break points tonight, um, including one play in overtime. I think Joe gets that strip, and then the ball gets to James, gets right up court to Jeff for the dunk. Um, is that part of the reason why you guys want to really hammer down on this defense? Obviously, yes, you want to stop guys from scoring, but does it unlock another layer for you guys to get out and transition and get some easy buckets? Yeah, I mean, I think when you do get stops, um, you know, you have an opportunity to go against a, a more unsettled defense, in, in whether it's transition or semi-transition. So, you know, I, I mean, there's many, many reasons why defending well is a positive, uh, but that is one small one. For me, frankly, you know, I think we'll figure out ways to score. It's more about getting stops. And, um, you know, we don't turn the ball. We don't turn other teams over a ton, but if we can just get stops and rebound, and we've been rebounding better, um, you know, we'll be in good shape. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hi, Steve. Uh, when you talk about, uh, you know, James's aggression level and you trust him to, make the correct decisions i'm curious if you've noted his condition his conditioning as we've gone make dramatic improvements or is this just a matter of him getting in better chemistry and in better sync with his teammates late in games i, I think both um i think he's getting comfortable just with his surroundings but he's definitely getting in better shape so you know that that's um you know it's important and, and he's you know, just going to get better the more comfortable he gets and the better shape he gets so you know, tonight's any indication he's going to, you know, have a huge influence on our team and, and make other players better. 